Hi honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. I'm getting ready to make some chili with beans. I like my chili with beans. And I'm going to be putting some hot tamales in it. So, it's not a chili, I don't know what it is. What you call it? Chili tamale casserole? Well, this is what I'll be using. Of course, I'm just using one pound of ground beef. Lean ground beef. You use the lean, then you ain't got to be dipping out all that grease. Because it don't make it. Okay. Um, I'm using some Brooks chili beans. I was going to put three cans of beans, but I just used two. Um, I use the dark red kidney beans. Put this up. I'll be using granulated garlic, granulated onion, got a little dab left. I gotta buy some more. Old Bay seasoning, smoked paprika, chili, Mexican chili powder, and some ground cumin. Because I don't have the packs of chili mix. I don't have taco mix or the chili mix right now. So I gotta make my own. And of course, I'll be using pepper. And I have to see if I'm gonna need salt. So it's here. And I don't have my thick and chunky salsa like I usually put in my chili. So I got some pizza sauce. I'm cleaning out my cabinet, y'all. Got pizza sauce, so that'll make a nice sauce. And it won't taste like pizza. And to top everything, I got some partial packets of cheese. It's good. I checked it to make sure it wasn't moldy. Sometimes this cheese can stay in there so long, it turn blue. And we don't eat stuff like that. So let's get started. Okay. I'll be using my Presto electric skillet once again. Okay. So I'm going to lower this so y'all can see what I'm doing. That's, yeah, put this over here so I won't be in your way. Okay, this is the electric skillet. I bought this from Walmart. It was about $26. And they got this same skillet on Amazon. That's like $45. So, if you want to get a skillet like this, I advise you to go to Walmart and pick it up or order from Walmart.com. Put this heating element thing in here. Put that in there. And it has, let me show you, it has settings on it so you can set the temp. And it cooks good. Easy to wash. Very easy. Put it in. Move the cord out the way so it don't get burned. And it has a little little side right here where whatever you're stirring with can stay in there and you can put the lid on. I like that. You gotta be searching for somewhere to put your dirty spoon after you've stirred your food. Okay. And I might as well show you the can opener I'll be using. This is the best can opener I've ever had. What's the name brand? Z-Y-L-I-S-S. -S. Xylus. Very good can opener. I'll leave the link for this too. Oh. But when I bought this, it was $10 and something. Now Amazon has it for $19.99, which is crazy. It's a good can opener and all, but once I start talking about something and people start buying them, then the price goes up. So maybe it'll go back down. 
Okay, let me open this and get a knife. Turn this on to, let me see, yes, 300 is good. I always smell the meat. That's good. Nice and fresh. You know how sometimes people carry food in the shopping cart? and walk all over the store and then they put stuff anywhere. So I always smell the meat. Cause this could have been one of those packs that they stuck anywhere. season my ground beef after it's cooked because all this stuff will make it look like it's cooked. Okay. Put the top on. And this don't heat up your house. Unlike if you're cooking on a pot on your stove. Okay. Open this. I already washed off the, the can. Let's have a pot top. The juice and all. Let me get this bag I got over here for garbage. I don't know why I left it over there. Open up the seasonings I'll be using. I'd rather have packets. I used to make my own um, chili mix seasoning. Mm -mm. Okay, I'll be back. Okay. Meat ain't quite done, but because I just got a little pink left, but that's okay. So it's going to continue to cook when I add the other stuff. Let me see if I can tilt it. You have to see what I'm doing. And see, ain't no grease in here. But this is lean ground beef. So I ain't got to be dipping out. Okay. So, I'm going to start seasoning. Bang. So get some liquid up in here. I'm gonna make chili in this before. Come on. Come on. Chili is easy to make, y'all. Sauce. Remember, I, I usually use the thick and chunky salsa because it has all the bell pepper, the onion, the, everything is chopped up in it already. 
that we chop it. This is a pizza sauce. But once I add the, the chili powder ingredients, you won't be able to tell what kind of sauce it was. Okay. I've got the Mexican chili powder. I'm going to taste it. I'm using some smoked paprika. I'm going to turn this uh, heat down because I don't want this popping all on me. That's what I like about this electric skillet. It's like a stove, you can turn it down. Smoked paprika tastes better than regular paprika. A little bit of cumin. Granulated garlic. And some pepper. You may need more chili powder. Nothing I put in it has salt in it. I'm going to taste it until I got the stuff with the salt. This is Old Bay. It has salt in it and a bunch of seasonings. Chili powder. Mm. Some more cumin. Chili powder. And it needs salt. Taste this. Okay, that's chili. I'm using some kind of salt is this. Pink Himalayan salt. Some more pepper. That's my old bay. So I'm going to rinse these jars and these cans out. And okay. I'll be back. Turn it down some more. But I'm going to leave it for a second. I'll be back. Okay. I almost forgot about this. Okay, let me open it. And these have paper on them, so you have to take the paper off.
I just look. There are no cracks. Where's my salt? I'm filming Walter. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera on you. You want the camera on you? I wish it was some crackers here. Any kind of saltines? You don't like saltines? I like saltines if you send them orange. Okay. I don't know why this one all folded up. Can y'all see that? It's all folded up in the can. And it don't make a difference if they're broken up or not. I'm just going to put them in there. I've seen people make tamales. I prefer the real tamales. But since I don't make them, I don't think I had the patience. Not till it walked before I started cooking. We didn't have any oyster crackers, and I asked him, did he still want chili? He, he said, yes, I want it. Now he's talking about it. So I can eat mine with, just by itself. I can eat it with bread. And he usually don't like saltines. So I bought saltines to go with the chili. He ain't want that. Now he wants some. I'm gonna pour this juice in there too. Okay, I've turned the fire way down. He washed his hand. Nasty. Make sure this is filming. Okay, I'm just going to put the tamales in here on top and just let it simmer. And we'll scoop up the chili and we'll get a piece of tamale. You're supposed to taste this. Okay, that's good. I usually put a tamale down in the bottom of my bowl for chili. So I've never put it in the pot before like this. I just wanted to cook in with the chili. Enough up these canned goods, y'all. Yeah. beans in my chili. And some people don't like any beans. If I put that in here, I would have to re-season it again. I'm sinking these tamales down in the chili. Mm -hmm. 
Take it out. I keep forgetting. It's supposed to stay in there. Okay, not simmering, y'all. And then I put some cheese on top. I'll be back. Turn it down. This is how this looks now. I'm going to put the cheese on it. So I'm going to have to put the camera back down. Okay. Let's put this on top. It's been sitting out, so. Trying to clump together, but it still tastes the same. Using up the stuff that's been here. This is um. Mexican style cheese. I also have some cheddar. Mild cheddar. Okay, that's good. One more again. cheesy film on top. And then I will show y'all the finished product and I'll dip up my bowl. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'm through cooking. This is my chili with hot tamales in it. The cheese is melted. And there's the hot tamale. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to have to dip up my plate. Okay, I'm going to have to put the camera down to dip up my plate, but I need a thumbnail. You don't really see the chili. Okay, just up my bowl. I've got the hot tamale down in here. See the hot tamale and chili. Put some croutons. We got no crackers. We got croutons. Texas toast croutons. So we're going to see what this tastes like. A piece of the tamale and some chili. It's hot, y'all. Don't see that steam. That's too big of a mouthful. Let me cut that tamale. Okay, now. 
Cutting into this tamale. It's real cheesy. Tamale is good. Plus, my chili is always good. So, hot tamale chili. Consider this comfort food. It's good. And the croutons work. Now I'm just eating the chili. I make some good chili, y'all. My mother used to make delicious chili. I'm going to chip out the old block. Mmm, this is delicious. Mmm, I made it, and I'm saying it's delicious. Mm-hmm. Okay, I want to thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you, you all have a very blessed rest of the day. It's 4:27 p.m. here on Sunday. Okay, y'all be blessed. Bon appetit. Mm -mm, good. Every goodbye ain't gone. I'm going to show y'all this ladle that one of my honeys blessed me with. Okay, it has a little hook right here so it don't fall down in the pot if you're using a regular pot. That's how this chili looks. And it's so good. And the tamales are staying together. I'm not towing up, but I don't know what's going to happen when Walter get to digging around in here. Okay. Cover it back up. I'm gone for real now. Bye.